Hello, and welcome to the summer reading program, Tissue Paper Painting. My name is Cody Elliott, the adult teen programmer at the Newport branch of the Campbell County Public Library. Um, today, what we're going to need is a 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock, um, some water, a white crayon, and some tissue paper. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to take a crayon, and you're going to draw a design, whatever you want, onto the paper. Um, I provided a few extra sheets of paper so you can always do more than one. Um, I've already done my design so I'm just going to go on and move on to the next step. Once you've made your design you're going to take your tissue paper and you're going to pattern it onto your paper here. If you like certain colors more um, you can always choose to do that. Um, if not you can always just kind of go randomly as I'm going to do and kind of just create your own little fun colors. I try not to keep colors that are similar to each other next to each other um, so it makes it more interesting. Now this is a special type of tissue paper it's called bleeding tissue paper so once it gets wet it'll um, it'll leak all its color and all its dye. I will say that um, you may need a paper towel or something because your your fingers might get stained a little bit. Um, it won't be too bad. It'll it'll wash off pretty quick. I'm just gonna keep going until your piece of paper is completely covered. Now it doesn't have to be in a perfect um, straight on like how I'm doing. You can just do you can do sideways. You can lay them down however you want really um, to create your own little thing. Now, if they are stacked on top of each other, um, it'll be harder for it to bleed through because it's gonna it's gonna layer it. Um, so you gotta be conscious of that and beware of the wind. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Now if you wanted to do something like a, a sunset, you could always do orange, reds up the top and then kind of work your way down to other colors. Um, if you want to do an ocean, use your blues. Um, you can always like do multiple like lined up next to each other. I'm just doing it because I like the randomness of it all and it makes it more interesting for me. You might not like some of the colors you use, but um, that's up to you. Let's see. Some oranges and some purples. Now, once you have all your tissue paper down, you're going to take your squirt bottle filled with water and you have to be careful with this because when you squirt, some of the paper might fly up. Um, I'm just going to spray, 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 and get it really nice and wet. Um, some of the paper might warp a little bit um, and like kind of curl up on the edges, um, just so you know. So you might want to put like something down on the sides to keep it from curling up. Now you can probably see and I'm not, there are some like open white areas into my paper. Um, if you can't see that, that's okay. Um, what's going to happen is it's probably not going to be dyed the entire time on my first time squirting all this water. So I'm probably going to have to go in and fill in the extra areas. But like I said, get it nice and wet. Let all that dye that's in the tissue paper um, soak through and just kind of bleed. And it kind of have like more of a tie-dye effect when we kind of take the paper up. Squirt, 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 squirt. If you don't mind getting your hands a little messy, you can always press down on the tissue paper and it'll spread it down or spread the dye a little bit. And 
And this project works really fast with the, with the bleeding of the paper. Um, I can already see that it's already starting to bleed through pretty well. Um, I'm going to take some of it up and then I'm going to look at it and see how it is and then adjust and add more to it if I need to. Take all the tissue paper up for now. And literally just, you know, peel up that tissue extra extra tissue paper that's still on the on the paper there and get it all up. You can see the design on mine a little bit. Um, it's not done yet. Um, it's the Campbell County Public Library logo. I'm going to go back in, add some more tissue paper to the top and the, the excess white areas um, to kind of cover them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real fast to so just grab some more tissue paper. Any part that um, hasn't been dyed yet, just go back in, select maybe some darker colors um, and just add on to it. Some purples. Let me just touch up those remaining areas. Always add as you go along as well. Like I said, get them nice and wet, make it bleed through as much as possible. Press down on them again just to let it absorb in those areas in particular and let it spread all those that dye around. I'm going to take it up. And then you can always let it dry because some of the dye will run off. Um, but essentially, it's going to come out to whatever your picture is going to look like. Um, of course, mine, like I said, mine was the Campbell County Public Library logo. 
Um, and I hope you guys have turned out just as nice as mine did.